Hi everyone and welcome back to Them Fast. And today we have a very special car and this time it is actually a very special car. Um, this is my uh, company car and this is a converted Mission E uh, Volkswagen Golf. Um, so this is the company, this is my company and I built electric conversions uh, like this one. And as you can see, uh, it has a 37 kilowatt hour battery pack and 150 kilowatt of power, uh, which is 204 brake horsepower. Um, we're going to take a spin uh, in this car. Uh, we're going to check out what it's like to drive, uh, what it looks like. And yeah, let's start off with the exterior. So as you can see right here, it is actually a prototype. This is the first uh, electric vehicle that we made. Um, and here, a very nice sticker. So, but as you can see, it is just a normal Volkswagen Golf. So it is a 2009 Golf, uh, which is the Mark V uh, in a 2009 model year. It's one of the latest uh, produced. And it is a wagon, which is pretty nice. So we have quite a big trunk here, um, which is a bit smaller now because of the batteries, but still, I can fit all my stuff in there for uh, making the conversions. And this is also very nice to have because normally you have like a false floor here, but I just uh, put the batteries in the trunk. So, and this is the charging port. And as you can see, we have a type two charger for AC charging. And soon there will be a DC fast charging in it as well. Um, and of course here we have some very nice hood caps. These are uh, the most expensive options on this car. All right, so right now we are in the interior of the Volkswagen Golf. And as you can see, it is just still a normal Golf. Uh, right here, we have a very nice armrest, as you can see, which is a nice option. We do also have very cool cup holders right here. Uh, it just extends like this and you can put two cups in there. Um, and the rest is just all crap. So right now we are in the interior of the Volkswagen Golf. And as you can see, it is still a normal Golf besides this screen right here. Uh, so the seating position is actually very comfortable. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm one, I'm one, pfft. so I'm 180 and I'm just very comfortable right here. Uh, so this is the multifunctional steering wheel, which is nice. We have a uh, radio navigation system, which is quite old, but it does still work. Right here, we have a decent size glove box with a special holder for the document, documents of the car. Um, right here, we also have a CD exchanger with six CDs, uh, which does work as well. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, and right here, we have a special compartment for some sunglasses. And this screen is actually pretty nice. So let me start up the car. So what you can see here are uh, all the stats of the uh, electric drive. So you can see the amount of amps that you're pulling, the amount of power that you're pulling, the uh, engine temperature. Uh, and here you can see some more data about the trip. So my average consumption is around uh, 18 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometer, which equates to around 200 kilometers of range. Um, we do actually have a working uh, climate control as well. So we have the dual uh, temperature sensors right here and everything just works with an electric uh, heater. But right now we're going to check out the engine compartment. All right, so this is actually where the magic happens. So this is a special AC propulsion power electronics unit and beneath there is the drivetrain. Uh, so we have 150 kilowatts, uh, which is 204 brake horsepower and 220 Newton meters. And this car uh, or this motor goes up to 12,000 RPM. Uh, so this is the DC-DC converter, which makes the onboard power uh, as well as the charger of the car. So we can put AC power in here and it charges the battery. Uh, and we can also use it 
the other way around to uh, power the house. All right, so right now we're going to take this electric golf for a drive. All right, so right now we are driving the e-golf. Um, and so as you can hear, you hear the slight noise, the whine of the electric motor. It actually sounds a bit like a spaceship or maybe a, maybe a, jet, a small jet engine or something, but it actually sounds nice. What do you think, Rob? It sounds really, really good. Yeah, really good. It's, it's not like a very, a very loud sound, but you do really hear it. And it's actually, uh, it makes more sound than uh, the electric motor that you find in other cars because this one is air cooled and not water cooled. So you hear every sound that goes in that motor that goes out as well. Uh, but yeah, further on, this is just uh, a normal Golf. I mean, this is a 2009 Golf. Uh, so we have uh, the 2009 interior as well. Uh, we do have a multifunctional leather steering wheel uh, with the buttons on the steering as well. Uh, we have a RC, no, this is actually an RNS. So we do have navigation as well, which is pretty cool for this time and age. Uh, and right here, I actually have a Bluetooth device, uh, which pairs to my iPhone and even now, with the newest iPhone, it just pairs to this system. So it's quite nice. Uh, we have working air conditioning and working heating. Uh, it is all electric now. And here we can see some uh, data of the car. So right here we can see how many amps we are pulling from the battery, how fast we are going, and how much kilowatt we use. And it is actually quite a fast uh, vehicle. So and actually this car is very very comfortable. Um, it's very quiet um, and you don't, do not have a lot of wind noise. It's very well insulated. Um, I can do 200 kilometers on a full charge uh, and yeah it's it's quite a practical car. This is my daily uh, car for driving to projects or to uh, clients and it's it's nice thing. Yeah. All right, so if you made it this far into the video, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want to follow more about Mission E, uh, my company, uh, then please check out the link in the description down below. And I also have a very cool project with my 2009 Volkswagen Polo, which is also going to be electrified. And you can check that out in the link here or here or here. All right, so thanks for watching, guys, and see you guys next time. Ciao.